Markets may be closed, but if you thought big money wasn't going to talk about AI, you are wrong. AI now fighting crime. Veritone's new artificial intelligence tools are revolutionizing law enforcement, accelerating suspect identification in crimes caught on camera. Veritone co-founder, president, and CEO Brian Stilberg joins us now. How does this technology work? Well, it's a data problem. You know, we ingest, you know, zettabytes of, of audio and video uh, around the world, and, and we quickly try to index and analyze it to find people of interest and hopefully use that to investigate and, and track down potential suspects. Um, but, it, but think about it. It's a data problem. It's an unstructured data problem, um, and we're producing a lot more of it every single day. Ryan, can you give us some examples in real life where you've used it to nab a suspect, whether it be, let's say, in human, human trafficking or a missing child case? Um, there are a lot of different ways that you can use this software, but people can identify with it if they understand tangibly how it's used. Well, I think the big, the big breakthrough of this technology that we, we introduced internationally, um, mostly on-prem in the UK and Thailand and other countries, is, is the ability to protect people's identity, like their face and the facial recognition and whatnot, but be able to start to look at humans as objects. And, and that would be kind of looking at their, you know, the, the, how tall they are, what color backpack they're wearing, are they wearing a hat? And, and make it more complex, kind of like the movie we've all seen Jason Bourne is, these, you know, I'd like to say criminals and, 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 and bad actors travel. They'll go from camera to camera or different areas. So what this technology can do is, really identify in what we call single shot, analyze a tremendous amount of audio and video data, quickly create a database right, of those hits, and, and then be able to quickly identify and make the correlations across video cameras of like who these individuals are. So yes, technology has been used to fight crime. It's been used in the context for um, finding human traffickers. Um, and really what we were talking about in introducing it today is bringing it to, the, to North America at scale working with AWS, who's one of our GPU-based partners. Mm. Um, so we can actually make this accessible to every law enforcement agency. So Ryan, I, I get it and it sounds good when you're talking about catching the bad guys, but I can imagine a scenario where somebody with the nefarious intentions could use the exact same thing and ruin my life. How do you protect against that? Well, I think, again, who has access to the tools, right? So this technology is primarily being limited today. It's not open source. Um, we're not making this generally available like other large language models. Um, so today we're primarily offering and working with intimately with law enforcement agencies and other reputable firms like Deloitte and others to introduce this to really, again, narrow the use case and make sure it's in the context of an investigation. We care about, you know, again, bad actors using bad tools Hopefully this will not get in their hands and, and that's really not our strategy or business model for this solution. Um, but it's also make sure we're working with the sworn officers and I'd say the reputable good actors hmm. who, again, AI has a lot of good potential. Um, and so we're going to try to do everything we can to keep it in that category. Ryan, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.